How you doing everybody? This is PND51010 and today we're going to be looking at footage of Eustace Mullins and uh, you know he's very prominent within the truther slash alternative media movement especially when it comes to information on the Federal Reserve and central banking and things of that effect but uh, he is a shapeshifter nonetheless as we're going to see anomalies that are indicative of one who's shape-shifting. Also, we're going to see what I think is a masking program in effect as well because of the the nature of it, how it resets and just the way it acts. And, you know, it's very similar to the Gary McKinnon video. This more than others, and I've, I know I've been saying that in the past couple of videos, but it's only because the past five or six videos that I've done, we've seen a lot of the same anomalies on these people, on these individuals, you know, consistent anomalies. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to get into this right right away. And here, you can see on his finger, see how this is his whole hand? You see his pointer finger right there? See how it's become green-like and also come to, like, a claw? Very strange. Yeah, a very obvious claw-like protrusion coming from his pointer finger right there. Alright. We'll see the eyes. Heavily hooded eyelids once again. The protrusions from the eyes will look like depressions or striations on the eyelids. A lot of tooth morphing. Mouth activity. At one point, there's a big morph on his face. It's hard to catch, but it's very, very telling. Let's see if I can get to it. It's coming up. Just bear with me, because it's very hard to catch. It's right underneath his right or left eye. You'll see it in a couple seconds. You see how his eyes are beginning to look more reptile-like and more, you know, just more anomalous. And then you'll see a patch underneath his eye, like a masking, like a masking block drops and you see a piece of his real skin. Hologram fail. It's coming up. See how underneath his eyes looks ridged now? And here, look. We can see in his right eye there. We can see how the eyes just become ex extremely strange looking there's like a big bar where the iris should be and underneath his left eye like I was saying you can see this weird strange patch of skin I guess I don't know what it is it's just a uh, you know it just looks like a piece of masking failure I seen it really quick and I almost missed it but Glad I was able to show you. Let's see how it covers itself up afterwards. See his eye there too as well. That has the very heavily, heavily hooded green hue effect. And you see, you know, how it gets to a point where it seems like it can't get any worse before you see a, a full transformation. It sort of resets itself and fixes itself. As such, you know, in the Gary McKinnon video.
and he's just morphing just very, very obviously. You can, it's almost just amazing how people can't tell. You can see the teeth right here, how there's two bottom teeth and then they slowly disappear. And then watch, as he moves here, you can see that the the masking, I guess, attempts to follow him and it just becomes worse. It gets worse and worse. His face really doesn't even resemble anything human there. I'll be giving you the source video as always so you can view it more clearly. See how the eyes, watch the eyes, how they open up slowly, and just how anomalous they are. They're very angular. Just not natural looking. See how there's a masking fail on the side of his face right there on the cheek? But yet the background picture is perfect. It's almost his whole piece of his cheek disappears. Focus on the eyes here as they're shut. You see how one's shut and one's open, kind of, but it's they're still very, you know, heavily ridged and just very strange looking. And watch as they open. Look at his right eye in comparison to his left eye, or our left in comparison to our right. See how one's extremely oval-like in comparison to the other one, the other one's more narrow, this one's more narrow. And look here, there's like this piece of skin that gaps in the middle of his eye there. You can see the, the continuance of his eye over here. Let's watch this play itself out here. It's almost like it's melding together. Now look at how his brows become very, very, very heavy, and the eyes have sunken in a lot more. Pay attention to this this area of the eye right here.
as that area seems to be the more the more heavily affected area see a lot of activity in his mouth, teeth and lips as well see how the eye ride and the left eye our right has become very triangle like watch it change over the next couple of frames It's a poor excuse for an eye right there, I'll tell you what. Now look at it. This is very, very green. He was very heavy there. There, it doesn't even look like he's got an eyelid. It looks like a piece of flesh, a mound of flesh, over where his eye should be. Ridiculous. This video is very telling, and the shifting is very obvious. And like I said before, what always gets me when I find these videos originally, I look in the comments section to see if anybody mentions it or any anybody tries to make anybody else aware through the comments section, and very, very rarely do I see people making mention of it. So you can imagine how happy I am when I see someone, you know, making a comment in the comment section about the shape shifting, trying to make someone else aware. It's very rare, though. Unfortunately, people are waking up. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? triangle eye rides you see how the whole this whole side of his face here is just very very anomalous and almost seems like it's disintegrating just watch it over the next course a couple frames we only got a couple minutes left just pay attention to that side of the face and you see how it gets degeneratively worse alright that's a uh, screen Sorry about that. Let's get to this as fast as possible. I don't have much time left. Like I was saying, pay attention to his right side of the face, our left. One minute left. And like I said before, I'll be leaving the source video so you can view it for yourself. Like I mentioned in the last video, it's best to view it through, you know, YouTube download or a tube catcher or something like that. As you can view it frame by frame, true frame by frame. We'll zoom through it a little faster here. We don't have that much time. It's like he ages rapidly, it seems like. His face gets older. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be well and be at peace.